Hmm. Yeah. The day and date on your tickets. If you can't read... This is where he's going to get the Italian. I'm assuming it was the older Italian man. The father of the one that John cut. Him, yeah. Here they come. He knows it's coming, doesn't he? We are in danger here. Can you escort us to the dock? Please, come with me. Of course, they own at least some of the police officers. Is he one of them? Yeah, he's taking them out there. Come on, old man. No. Sorry. He's gonna shoot her. Let him fucking go. You have ten seconds or Tommy's order stand. I stand. One. Two. Please. Now is Tommy going to find out they didn't kill her? Yeah, what's Tommy going to do if he finds out that they didn't kill her? Is he actually going to go through with it? Until. So I guess he is going to go through with it. That's what I was thinking he was going to do. I'll take it, he is. I'll take your fingers. And your fucking toes. See, I'll take your balls first. You train too fast. 
fast like you fuckers do. But I think tongue first. <laughs> Got the wrong fight. <laughs> To fucking explain. Is he having second thoughts? Come on, tell me. I forget who I am. I forget who I am. I'm Maybe he's not having second thoughts. Oh. Well, he doesn't have to do it. I've bought the immigrant ship to New York. Why didn't you kill Mrs. Chagret? No, he told him. I don't know what. I was going to men. Why not? Of course, that leaves her to go and get someone to come back and seek revenge. I spoke to an old friend of Freddy's. He's a Communist Party candidate for Balsall Heath. I asked him about the Birmingham branch of the National Vigilance Committee. He said he'd heard the Soviet Embassy was getting information from the inside. And? Is he got a name? Yes. Hmm. Yeah, what's that name? It just promised me no one will get killed. Yeah. <laughs> Monkland. He's a Lloyd's underwriter. He's got an office on Curzon Street. Tommy, for fuck's sake, who is it that's ahead of you? I know we could count on you, Adam. No, you can't. I just asked you a fucking question. And I notice you started wearing lipstick again. <laughs> so what? Is she moving away from the Communist Party now? Coming up. And shall we company limited? Boston office. Boston, America. Lipstick. Clothes from Paris. This is the cell he was in a couple of episodes ago, wasn't it? Who the hell are you? What do you want with me? You've been passing information about a robbery at the Lanchester factory in Sparnbrook. Are you... Tommy, shut up. 
Toby. I need to know the name of the person in the organization who was giving you information. What organization? Hmm. Give me the name of the informant. If he gives it up, they'll kill him. If he doesn't give it up, Tommy will kill him. Mr. Shelby. They are very, very dangerous people. Oh. Oh. Well, unfortunately, so are we. You have to choose who you're more afraid of. <laughs> the Peaking Blinders at exactly 11.43 or Section D at some point in the future. If you make the wrong choice, you won't see 11.44. He's screwed either way he goes. Do the stock taking at night. I was going to wait until you had a strong cup of tea in your hand. But, um, I'm going to have a baby, Arthur. Oh, she's pregnant. That took him off guard. Right. Yeah. You said you spent the night taking stock. Or so did I. This working at night will have to stop. Something tells me it's not going to stop. Morning. I'm gonna be a fucking dead. <laughs> <laughs> yes, guy. Arthur. I knew you had it in you. Anything I have to go to. Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. He doesn't seem too happy about it. <laughs> His ear is pierced. I don't know if men of that era had ear piercings. If they didn't, and it wasn't common, you would think they would have covered that up or somehow put makeup on it or something. Uh, this is the Russian that gave him that cursed jewel. Your Highness, Mr. Thomas Shelton. Was it a sapphire? Is he going to shoot him? I don't know that Before we begin, Mr. Shelby, priest didn't look too happy he was there. We must offer our sincere condolences on your recent loss. If as witnessed. Brave, Mr. Shelby. Yes. Hmm. She looks a little stunned, too. They say you're an expert on cars. Yes, I am. I am curious. What was your father's profession? Well, he, uh, he told fortunes and he stole horses. <laughs> Often he would tell a man that his horse would be stolen and they would marvel at his powers when it was. Because <laughs> he was the one that stole it. Or a week, should we say grace? Be from what we are about. Mm. He's just staring at him. The is, Lord make us truly is the priest the man that the other guy told I'm him? I'm not here to eat. I'm here to do business. And what I have to say can be said before the mic. The way he's looking at him. This is a report on the mission's progress so far. <clears throat> I've made only one copy for security. Who should I give it to? My husband is in charge of this operation. But since there will no doubt be vodka later, perhaps you should give it to me for safekeeping. Hmm. For our factory foreman on our payroll, we've begun a campaign of victimization against communist workers in five factories across Birmingham. How will you move the train? We have two locomotive drivers who have been allocated to drive the midnight goods train to London. The armored vehicles will be waiting on flatbeds. And the ammunition? The ammunition. I have to say that... This 
soup is exceptional. Hmm. So absolutely delicious. Action incendiaries will already have been packed up and crated for transport to Istanbul. And how long to London? The train won't reach London. All the goods will be unloaded at a coal yard in St Albans and put onto Shelby Company trucks. From there, they will go directly to the Poplar docks. Your Highness, if you're having difficulty understanding his accent, then I can go through the plan with you at a later date. If there is no hmm. he's day, trying to distract things. Just a factory will be firebombed. A scrap metal dealer of my acquaintance will declare that all the armored vehicles are in the wreckage and should be written off as salvage. And no one will know that they are in your possession. We formulated this plan when we met at Birmingham. Ammunition that nothing has been overlooked. I'm certain this uh, is the amount of extra expense I will incur for trucks and fuels. I believe a will respond in kind. I try. Of I have secrets. Shelby. <laughs> but before I go, I could know. I would love an able to swallow food. And I'm wrong as this priest. The same way at evening. Hmm. That he uh, the priest must be the name that he got when he went and talked to that man at the at the prison. And you Tatiana, see Mr. Shelby to his car. Yes. He looks worried. Yeah, that priest looks worried now. I don't remember his name. about the robbery to a Lloyd's under article in yep. and he in turn is passing information to the Soviet embassy. If you want him dead, I'll kill him, no charge. <laughs> that stopped her. I've been paid to act and to observe like a soldier. The complexities are your business. Go and speak to Isabella. I trust her to decide. You are able to continue your business dealings even after what happened. Perhaps she didn't love her. Hmm. I don't think she wants to go there. She doesn't want to go there. She's there. Yeah, he wants to kill that priest and he's wanted to kill him for a little while now. Well, it kind of surprised me that Grace was actually killed off in that previous episode. Like I mentioned in that reaction video, it looked like she was hit in the shoulder area. It was on the left side, if I'm remembering right. So if it was lower, it would have hit her heart, but it looked like it was in the shoulder area. So I didn't think they were going to kill her off. Or at least not, you know, because of that situation. So I'm a little bit surprised that, that she died. A little bit surprised that they killed her character off. Uh, Tommy seemed to be happy. And of course, that puts a little bit of conflict in the show. When he's happy, make him unhappy. Now, with regard to how this episode is ending, when he went in there and the way he was looking at that priest, I figured... That must be the name that he got from that man in the prison. So, and he's wanted to kill that priest. You know, he hasn't said it, but he's wanted that priest for a while. Going all the way back. I guess the priest has only been in the season, in the, in the show, since the beginning of the season. This is episode three, so it's only been a few episodes. But I had the feeling all along that he wanted to kill the priest. So, it looks like he's going to possibly get that opportunity now if this priest is acting as a double agent and it looks like he is 
and he has he the has proof. proof. Looks, Looks like that's, that's it for the priest. priest. But since this priest is involved in the dealings with Winston Churchill, how is that going to affect all of this? How is that going to affect Tommy's situation with the government? It's a clandestine operation, of course, but they could just as easily say, okay, he's turned on us, we got to get rid of him. Now, with regards to the Italian man and his wife, kind of figured they'd kill the, the man, but... With the wife letting her go back to America, what's to stop her from going back to America, explaining to some of the people over there, this is what happened, let's go back over and get Tommy Shelby now. What's to stop that from happening? So maybe they shouldn't have disobeyed orders. Or maybe this is just the end of that story arc, and we won't hear any, any more about this war with the Italians. Looks like the Peaky Blinders have won that war anyway. But not necessarily surprised that they let her live the way John was acting at the beginning of the episode, saying that it was his teacher. They didn't want to do, go through with that. So I'm not surprised they let her live. Now, with Arthur having a baby, or Arthur's wife having a baby, how is that going to affect Arthur's position in the family business here? There's got to be some way that they're going to be able to keep him going in this and keep his wife from keeping him out of it. So that's going to be, I, I guess, a storyline going forward that we're going to have to see play out. So this was episode three, three more episodes to go. I have to get used to these short seasons, only six episodes per season. So we're getting close to the end of this season, and I expect some of these storylines will be tied up before the end of the season. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts or observations about this episode, or maybe something I missed in a previous episode, please leave a comment down below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. So thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next episode.